How you doing, Nate? Oh, hi, buddy. How are you? All good, mate. All good. Appreciate you jumping on. I know you've just uh, you just come off nights, right? Yeah, yeah. Joyous, joyous night. Feeling all right now? Yeah, it's not too bad. It wasn't, it wasn't too. It's was a bit flooded and stuff, so we've been helping people out there. But other than that, it's uh, all good. Good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Obviously, the reason I wanted to jump on with you is because obviously you're a pretty important member of the team. Um, you work hard. Like I know that anything I put up, you're going to give it 100. percent You're always supporting the other guys, and I just want to get, you know, get a feel um, for, you know, for myself as well. But then for the guys watching this that are kind of thinking about joining the team, they can get a clearer picture. Um, so first of all, mate, if you could just, like, obviously I know you, um, but for the guys that don't, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, all right, my name's Nate. I do. Um, I'm 39 years old. I've always, up until this uh, thing with Johnny, I've kind of, uh, I've been that tip I used to call skinny dude with a little bit of fat on him. Uh, and I've tried, I've been in the gym, put a bit of weight on, lost a bit of weight, done all the sort of bits and bobs. Always been the, the skinny guy at work as well, you know what I mean? Always been a little bit behind the times. But <clears throat> other than that, I've always been more into cardio and doing stuff, and I just nothing was going anywhere for me. I thought, I thought I'll jump on. I saw a little bit of an advert with Johnny. I thought, I'll jump on with Johnny, <laughs> see what happens. And uh, it was, it's been all, all good since then, really. Um, mindset, body, the lot. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I think I put at least 10% of my body weight back on now. I think it's over 10% now, actually. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's awesome. That is amazing, mate. I tell you, but for someone who's tried to put, who's struggled to put a kilo on, I've put just over ten now. I think I'm on. So I'm, I'm, I'm flying, and I'm still going, which is good. But I want, um, yeah. Uh, I've been one of those. I've, I've tried loads of different systems. I've tried loads of different workouts. I've tried eating differently. I've tried a thousand different things. That's what it felt like. I've spent loads of money on it. And then, uh, like I say, I came across uh, the advert from Johnny, gave him a ring, jumped on a call, and, and it's been all, all up since then, onwards and upwards, literally. Ooh, how's it? Good man. Do you know, it's interesting what you said. You said that you were into your cardio and stuff, and this is something I hear all the time, because no naturally skinny guy, like, like really wants to get skinnier, like, wants to, like, lose weight, obviously, but... We find ourselves drawn to cardio because we're naturally good at it, right? Like I know, obviously, you've got a very physical job. Um, you find yourself like enjoying doing cardio because you're good at it, but then it doesn't get you the results you want. But then, when you follow the right system, as you might have found, you're getting bigger and stronger and building out your physique, and then you start to realise, oh shit, I'm good at this too, and you enjoy it more, right? Absolutely, mate. And it's not it. It's made. Um... It's made my job easier as well, you know what I mean? I thought, oh yeah, being, being the fitness lad on the watch, that's, that's the way to do it. But I'm having to work less hard because I'm stronger, if you know what I mean. It's, it, it's, so it's, it's that finding that balance. Plus, I mean, let's be honest, we all look better with a bit of ball colour, don't we? <laughs> that's it, mate. That's it. People say it all the time, they're like, I say, like, what are your goals? And they'll tell me, like, I want to be stronger, I want to feel more confident. And then they'll say, oh, I don't want to sound vain, but... I want to get bigger. I want to pack on some muscle. I said, that's not vain. I said, that is not vain at all. Like people don't realize that. And you can, ex you probably experience this when you pack on size and muscle, you become like better for other people, right? You become more positive, more confident. Like your missus appreciates, appreciates it. Your friends around you, they enjoy spending time with you more. Cause you're not just some gobby guy trying to compensate for feeling small and weak. You're just like humble. You're positive. You're strong. You're disciplined. It affects every area. It's not vain. It's just a little bonus that when you go on holiday, you can whip the top off and feel good. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, but no, it's good, mate. So the stuff you were struggling with before, did you see any results from any of it? Yeah, I mean, what was, uh, I've always kind of just got in peaks and troughs. I've seen a little bit here and there and, I've put a bit of weight on, but it's never been consistent. You know what I mean? It's never, it's never uh, stayed on. You know what I mean? I've not perhaps again something that you've introduced to me is having that discipline, that mental attitude, that that fortitude, that, all, that just will not stop. And 
so I get what I want. That's what you've given me. Um, it's a massive, it is massive. What you just talking about about um, having that, that that extra confidence as well. The more it's like it snowballs. The, the bigger I get, the better I feel. The more confident I get, and the more aggressive I get, and the more I want to get further on. It's just it is. It's a, it builds on top of each other all the time. I um, it's just something I noticed the other day was in situa certain situations where normally I'd kind of perhaps shied away from it or not been as outspoken or confident about it. Mentally now, I'm just walking straight through them. I'm, I'm, I'm at it every time, without even thinking about it. And then it's later, I think, no, oh, 10 weeks ago, 20 weeks ago, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have even thought about doing that. I would, I'd have shied away from it. You know what I mean? I've been, oh, I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm, I'm on it now. Yeah. I'm on it wherever, all the time, mate. <laughs> One of the gone. Mate, it's awesome. I remember you saying you were like, jobs that your missus had been telling you to do for months and months. I think you said like two years and then you smashed them out in a weekend because you just had that like drive. It's crazy, mate. It is. And that's one of the massive things that's still for me. Obviously, like I said before, we all want to get bigger. We want to look good for the ladies and what have you. I mean, it's gone beyond that for me because I just, I'm, I'm trying to beat my lips all the time. It's, it's, it's really, you know what I mean? The mental side of it is the massive thing for me. It is huge. The yeah. way I've just uh, feel like I've come out myself and that's fair because there's people at work that I that I respect that are asking me for for advice, they're asking me how to train, they're asking me how to do the job. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's amazing, mate. Because I'm mate. just walking forward. That's awesome. And do you know that's a common thing you've probably noticed in the group is the dynamics of people at work is changing a lot. Like you've seen a, a few posts have happened even this week that you've seen that guys are like, yeah, I used to get asked about this. And now um, I used to kind of feel like these guys were ahead of me and now they're coming up to me and asking me things. It's weird. Um, but you know what you just said about like confidence and you looking at certain situations and treating them differently. I literally had that at the start of this week. It was the weirdest thing because now I hate holidays, right? My missus hates that I do, but I do. I hate holidays. I never want to go away. Um, but I just don't really like relaxing. I think kind of the same as you. Um, but I'm just not a relaxing guy. And uh, my mum decided she wanted to take us away at the end of this year. Like me, my brother, my sister, like my partner, all of us. She wanted to take us to Morocco, right, for her birthday. Um, and I was just like, oh, man. But it kind of brought back old memories because I haven't obviously been on holiday with my mum since I was a kid, right? So it felt a bit strange. And she sent me the picture of where we're staying and there was this big pool. And immediately I like felt almost like hesitant, like, oh no, like a pool. Because that's how I felt the last time I went on a holiday with my mum. Like, oh, yeah. fuck a pool. But now I'm looking at it and I'm like, hang on, Johnny, like a pool. This is fucking awesome. You're not, you're not that shy, scrawny, weak guy anymore. Like, get excited. And it felt amazing, like, how differently I treat that situation. I'm sorry, mate. I'm looking... Well, I've got holiday in, uh, in May, and I am looking forward to it, brother. I am looking forward to getting it out and showing it off. Mate, good. It's our first opportunity to do that properly. And normally, I, to the point in the swimming pool, I'd probably wait. I'd have said, oh, yeah, I've got to wear this top because... I don't want to get burnt by the sun or something like that, you know what I mean? I just, you're covering up, you don't, you don't want to look like a dickhead around the pool, but now I'm going to be looking, I'm going to be strutting, but I am going to be strutting. Uh, mate, you've earned it. Hard work, you've earned it. But do you know, I was that guy, like, friends would be going to the beach because it's hot, and I'd be sat there in a hoodie, sweating, being like, no, I'm cold. They'd be like, oh, are you cold? I'd be like, no, I'm, I'm cold. Like, they knew I wasn't cold. Like, I was just that scrawny guy with a little bit of tub, like, just a hard, unhealthy physique. No good. No good at all. Um, but no, mate, you're killing it, obviously. So, like, obviously, we, we talk about, like, physical, like, strength, like, size, like, muscle, like, mindset. What's the one first thing you noticed? Like, I mean, the very first thing that, that you kind of thought, I'm doing the right thing here. This is, the, this is the path for me. Well, I mean, it, it, originally, it was all about the vanity. It was all about the size. And... Um, as quickly as you, I know it's anything um, progresses quickly, especially early on in the stage, you know what I mean? You're doing, because I've done exercise before, I've been four, five, six, seven weeks sometimes, and then I might notice a little bit here and there, but especially with the sleeping system. You just, it, in, within weeks, people going, within like a week, people saying, Jesus, you're putting size on, you're putting size on. 
<laughs> yeah, big time. It's um, well, that obviously that's why we do it, right? Because like we talk about the sacrifice reward cycle. I need you seeing results as quick as possible for exact that reason. So you're like, this is the real deal. This is, <laughs> this is what's going to get me forward. No, definitely, yeah. mate, definitely. So the size. Um, and what about mentally? What's the first thing you noticed? Well, just mentally, it's just the desire to be like, I've organised myself and it's that desire to, to want to get it done. And, and you know, to want to go the hard way as well. I know, again, I know it's something you, you talk about all the time, it's going the hard way. But it's that desire, that challenge. Every time you, you go, oh, I'm going to challenge, I'm like, right then, let's see what you've got for me. <laughs> you make it sound like I nag you. You're like, something you say all the time. <laughs> Yeah, it's all true, isn't it? If, if you carry it on, it's like the old um, cliches. They're, they're true because it, they're true. You know what I mean? It's cliche all the time because they're true. Yeah, stood the test of time. And I say to people all the time, like, when you think about it, it's obvious. Like, no one wants to be average because average now is low sex drive, no muscle, no confidence, like, all that stuff. That's average. And why do you think average exists? It's not because that is the the path of the most resistance. That's what hard work gets you. Average exists because most guys will take the easy option. Most guys will choose to be comfortable and that is exactly where it puts you, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> don't want to be comfortable. We don't, we, we don't need comfort. We don't do it, mate. No, fun, mate, as well. I've just decided, I've just decided it's uncomfortable is fun. For pushing those boundaries is fun. It's, it's enjoyable. Like you say, you get that, those rushes, that endorphins, those the dopamine, it's amazing. All yeah. the time, work hard. Every time I put that new, like, a new discipline challenge up, you're the first one that's just like, yes! And you know, it's because of that connection you've made where you, and you'll probably agree with this, you, it's not just subconscious, it probably is a conscious thing. You directly like, associate suffering and pain with growth and winning. Like, that, they're yeah. con easily connected. They're there. Like, oh, if I do this, it's hard as fuck. Even if you can't see the win, you're like, that will lead to something good. Oh, absolutely, mate. And it's, it, like you say, it's, um, even with the sacrifice reward things, it's got, it's got to the point where I'm getting a reward, I'm getting sacrificed, and my reward is another sacrifice, or what I would have seen as a sacrifice previously. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I, you just be constant. And like I said, it's that snowball effect. You just want more and more and more, and you want to keep pushing yourself and see how far you can get. I mean, yeah. I'm, looking, I'm looking at... Um, once I've finished this course and I feel good about it, I'm looking to try and go and try and have a go at the fan dance. Amazing. Yeah, mate, that would be, that'd be awesome. Just, and you know what? That's not even, that doesn't even like align with your goals of packing on sides of muscle. It's just because it's hard. You're like, that's, that's hard. I need to do it. I do it all the time, mate. It happens. You just think, well, that'd be tough. Like I said to you about when I got Amber the pull-up bar. And I was like, yeah. I'm going to see how long I can hang on to that. Like, you just, your brain just works that way. Like, with these storms that are going on at the moment, I guarantee no bloke on a sleepless system has been like, oh, the dog's not getting a walk today. It's a bit windy and wet. Nah, you'll be like, let's do this. Better put my phone in a poo bag because it's wet out there. <laughs> my boy has been hating this. My, my dog's been hating this. Oh, look, it's pissed down. Let's go out, Freckle. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Mate, it's good, but it, just, it equals growth, and like you're a testament to it, right? Packing on size, packing on muscle, um, mentally just getting stronger and stronger. So obviously, a lot of guys out there are struggling. Like, if you had one message for a guy that feels stuck, right? He's tried loads of stuff, nothing's working. He feels mentally out of control, and he's struggling to pack on size and muscle. Like, what message do you have for him? Come and talk to Johnny Collins. <laughs> That's it. Honestly, mate, it's the best, it's the best thing anyone could do. Is come and have a chat with you. If, if the rest, and let's be honest, you're not going to bullshit them. Um, if you think they're ready for it, they need to think they're ready for it. But you've got that way of instilling that kind of thing into me. So you did it on me on that first call. I was like, all right. I wasn't sure at the beginning. I wasn't sure at the beginning of the call, and by the end of the call, I was like, I want it fucking now. I want it now. <laughs> and it's been like, I've been, I've been like that literally since. I want everything. I want it now. I want it all. Good, mate. It's good. And as much as I, uh, I love that, come and speak to Johnny, obviously good for me. But I guess if we like take that for what it is, you're basically saying like, take action, right? Because whether it's speaking to me or even if 
even if, for, for example, I wasn't taking on clients right now, like your advice is just take action, like do something, right? So obviously if a guy wants to get exactly the results that you and the team are seeing, like speak to me, we could look at getting him on the team, like on obviously our team um, and, and moving them forward. But the first step is literally just do something. Don't just think that it's going to change for you if you carry on doing what you're doing. Like that's insane, right? You reach out, change something, take action, aggressively jump into something, not just dip your toe in. Because on a call, on our call, did I say, oh, well, maybe like make this tweak in your training program? No. Did you? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, like I said, the, um, when people are asking me now, what's out, what's you going? I'm just saying, pick something, pick a system, pick anything and stick at it and go at it with everything you've got. Give it 300%. Give it, that's all. If you've got that discipline, that consistency, don't piss about. Don't say, oh, I can't do it this day. Don't say, I can't do it that day. Get on it. Like you say, take action and push as hard as you possibly can. And that's all. I mean, that's all I've, that's it. That's it for me. I'm just constantly, push as hard as you can. Yeah. Get there, get it done. Until it, like you say, until it hurts. And then when it starts hurting, push a bit harder. A little more, yeah. <laughs> yeah straight. Mate, it's perfect. That's good. Well, Listen, mate, I know you come off nights and you probably want to have a little snooze, but I appreciate you, uh, I appreciate you jumping on with me. Mega, mega useful stuff. Um, you've got a good way of explaining things because obviously you've been through it, you've put in the work, you're seeing the results, you're in the changes right now, which is amazing. So I know it's going to be really useful for guys to hear that. So I'll let you get your head down, mate. Uh, but it has been a pleasure and I'll speak to you soon, Nate, all right? Cheers, buddy. Take care, mate.